Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out our post E3 video. My name is Mike Laidlaw, I'm the creative director for Dragon Age Inquisition. And today, we're going to show you how our mix of exploration, real-time and tactical combat, and Bioware's award-winning storytelling are going to come together into one unforgettable experience. While we showcased any number of combinations at E3, for this demo, we want to go with the fan favorite and play the female Canary Mage. Inquisition is the biggest Dragon Age game. In fact, this area that you'll see here, and you can go virtually anywhere that you can see in the landscape, is larger than the entire play space of Dragon Age Origins. And it's not the only one. Inquisition is built of a series of multiple regions, allowing you to travel from blistering deserts to demon-infested swamps over the course of your adventures. Templar bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. They deserve to die. You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye. He was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a mage's staff. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. Farewell. Hmm. This location, as you've just heard, is struggling as the mages and Templars are vying for control. And every location you visit is part of the larger story and is a space you can impact with your actions. Rather than just tell you that the mage and Templar conflict is a threat, we wanted to make sure that you were a part of it. With Inquisition, we wanted to go beyond random encounters, and instead, we built the World Master System, one that ensures that Nereus' population is directly influenced by you and how you choose to play. Hunt all the bears in a region for their hide, perhaps for a new suit of armor, and their numbers will dwindle. Similarly, spread your Inquisition to a region, and you will see your troops patrolling the roads and signs of their presence. Inquisition is one of the most dynamic RPGs you will ever play. Good view of the King's Road from up here. Our goal today is to bring the war between the mages and the Templars to an end, and our first step on that journey is to reach the village of Redcliffe. As you saw from the encounters happening below where mages and Templars are actively fighting, in order to reach that location, we're going to have to get our hands dirty. Now, Dragon Age always puts you in the role of a leader, and at all times, you're in a command of a team that you've assembled and outfitted yourself. The enemies you encounter in the world are also working as a team, using their abilities and environment in intelligent ways to pose challenges. Up here, you'll see a simple example as the mages throw down glyphs to deny us areas, forcing us to attack from different directions. Looks like the mages are enjoying themselves. Come on, we're not gonna solve this by sticking around here. Combat and Inquisition pits your abilities against your foes, and so we can take a closer look at what's happening here using our tactical view. The Templar Defender has a massive tower shield, preventing us from attacking the front. And you'll notice that our characters respond to how the battle is playing out, our ranged characters staying at the back, and at any time, we can switch to any member of our party to take direct control.
Here you can see why we want to bring this conflict to an end. The battles between the groups are tearing this area apart. In Inquisition, you must be the leader of leaders. Iron Bull, who we see in our party, is a commander of his own mercenary company. Vivienne was the first enchanter of the Circle of Magi. And every member of your party shares this kind of influence and expertise. Inquisition also includes our largest cast of characters to date, including returning favorites from previous Dragon Age titles. All of them have come together to join our cause, the Inquisition. Throughout the game, you'll be spreading your influence across the world, setting up new camps, deploying troops, and fortifying strongholds. And as we make our way onto one now, you'll see that to travel these massive spaces, Inquisition has introduced mounts for the first time in the Dragon Age game. In addition to the Ferelden Bay we have here, there are numerous exotic mounts also available for you to acquire, collect, and ride across the land. Inquisitor, we're honored. I heard rumors that there are apostates outside the city fighting the Templars. I wouldn't pay those rumors anymore. Grandmother, I think we should go. Go. In the middle of the war. In Inquisition, your party members have their own goals, aspirations, and they will often pause while exploring to share them with you or with each other. Sarah, I had a thought. The next time we run into a line of enemies, I'll pick you up and throw you. Get off. No, this could work. I loft you over the front ranks, run behind them to flank, mayhem ensues. Are you worried? I can't fly, you daft tit. Think of the mayhem, Sarah. Mayhem. I'd get a wedge up something fierce. Look, you and Verrick are the only ones small enough, and he's pretty dense. We'll do some bloody presses. Redcliffe is serving as a staging ground for my forces. With the Mage and Templar War spiraling out of control, we've realized that to bring it to an end, we need to infiltrate here, Redcliffe Castle, a mage stronghold. Exploration zones such as this one are filled with opportunities to grow the influence and power of the Inquisition. We'll travel to a previously explored camp to pursue one of those now. Of course, we know there's a sincere threat ahead, so it's a chance for us to nerd out a bit as we dig into the inventory and look at the weapons and armor of our party. Here we'll switch down with the Iron Bull and grab that Battlemaster mail we looted earlier while we were exploring. This changes his appearance. And of course, if you don't want to use just looted armor, you do have extensive crafting materials to choose from. In Inquisition, every character fulfills a unique role. As you build your unique strategy, you'll have over 200 abilities, spells, and upgrades to choose from in order to give every character in your party their own unique role and style of fighting.
While the little ones go down easily enough, the High Dragon is the apex predator of the Dragon Age world. In Inquisition, dragons are so large that we've changed the way you target them, individually attacking their limbs and their tails in order to bring them down. If you can inflict enough damage, you'll be able to change the flow of the fight. Rather than mana or stamina, a spell like Haste uses Focus, a resource built up only through teamwork. Focus abilities are incredibly powerful, allowing us to wound this dragon's leg and bring it down. But in order to use them, you have to build them up over time, making them very strategic in how you deploy them into each fight. Inquisition is the biggest Dragon Age game we've created, and it represents the next generation of Bioware RPGs. With a massive world, dynamically and reactively populated based on your decisions, a massive cast of legends and an Inquisition for you to lead, and a variety of tools with which to destroy your foes, including tactical and real-time combat. This is the Dragon Age game we've always wanted to make. Thank you so much for checking it out.